in the social media era where editing skills and a confident voice can make anyone an expert on everything have we forgotten to ask what qualifies them to shape society a million subscribers a trending podcast a viral clip is that enough to trust someone's words when we scroll through a flashy thumbnail or a sensational title do we ever stop to ask is this even true with so many voices shaped by politics ideologies or profit how do we know whether the content we consume is truth or carefully packaged in fears when influencers talk about stock markets medicine or global issues without real expertise who is checking if their expert advice is even accurate can technology helps us make sense of the confusion and find what is true and reliable let's dive into the video let's revolutionize friends good day to everyone we live in a time where voices are everywhere loud voices confident voices influential voices but not all of them are telling the truth once upon a time truth had gatekeepers journalists editors researchers they were not perfect but there was at least a system a standard today all it takes is a camera a mic and a youtube account and suddenly anyone can be anything a financial advisor a historian a political analyst a scientist we have created a world where being watchable has replaced being credible and here where it gets dangerous we the people often can't tell the difference we hear someone speak fluently throw in a few technical terms add the cinematic music and our brain says yes that sounds smart that must be true but is it too often we don't ask where did this information come from is this person qualified to talk about this what facts are being left out or twisted we don't ask because no one taught us how to and because we are surrounded by millions of videos telling us they already have the answers let's talk about podcasters many of them start with good intentions but over time numbers matter views matter algorithms demand emotion not evidence so guests get more extreme titles get more dramatic and experts are invited not for their knowledge but for how well they can spark a reaction some of the so called experts talk about everything politics climate wars economic psychology as if one person could possibly master all of that and then we start seeing the same faces on different shows saying the same things to the same audience it becomes an echo chamber a loop of biased ideas bouncing back and forth masked as truth now let's talk about influencers some have millions of followers they edit well speak well and perform even better but do we ever ask what are they actually qualified for we take investment advice from actors we listen to historical analysis from lifestyle vloggers we learn geopolitics from someone who was making prank videos last year and we trust them why because the videos was clean because the editing was cool because it made us feel something this is the art of the problem we confuse style with the substance we mistake confidence for credibility and worst of all we trust popularity over proof it is not just influencers and podcasters either even mainstream media has fallen into the trap news headlines are written like a clickbait thumbnails are sensationalized 
entire stories are sometimes built to protect political alliances or financial backers in the storm of vices one question keeps rising where is the truth and most of us there is no way to know we scroll we click we watch we absorb content shaped by agendas sometimes hidden sometimes obvious hidden agendas are more dangerous than obvious ones we hear opinions wrapped in facts and the facts buried beneath feelings and we don't have a platform a tool a method nothing to help us separate what is real from what is simply well produced this is not just about misinformation it is about disempowerment because when we can't trust the content around us we start doubting everything until eventually we stop caring all together and that is exactly what someone want but we are not ready to give up we believe there has to be a way a way to cut through the noise a way to understand whether what we are watching is actually reliable or just cleverly masked not to silence voices but to shine light on truth because we don't need more opinions we don't need an agenda to shape the content we need content that shape the agenda and we need tools to uncover the facts within it and maybe just maybe technology can help we have asked the questions we have seen the problem so now what can we do about it we live in an era where misinformation looks professional bias sounds intelligent and truth often gets buried under better production but instead of fighting content with more content what if we fought it with clarity what if in this endless flood of content we had something that quietly stood beside us a tech platform not to silence voices but to analyze them not to control what people say but to help us understand what is being said and how reliable it is it is not an app to follow it is not another influencer it is a silent force in the background checking questioning analyzing and guiding let us walk through what the system would actually do step by step step 1 when someone uploads a video or post to a social media platform youtube instagram facebook or anywhere else our system quietly steps in and capture several elements of that content the main title which often sets the tone the description where creators add context or bias the transcript the actual words spoken in the content and even the thumbnail because we know how powerful a single image can be and how deceptive the headline in the thumbnail can be our system reads all of this because all of it matters step 2 before we evaluate a piece of content we need to know what kind of content it is so the system does not just read it it interprets it categorizes is this video breaking news is it an opinion on a historical event is it investment advice a deep dive on a technical concept because you can't measure truth the same way in every context a video on world war 2 does not need the same checks as a video about current election a breakdown of stock trends does not need the same tools as a social commentary so the system classifies and then adapts step 3 now comes the core part based on the category the system prompts the ai with specific instructions for current events it uses web search feature to cross check facts in real time for history or ideology it leans on deep pre-trained knowledge matching claims with verified historical narratives for finance science and technical advice it uses deep research feature analyzing logic consistency and accuracy here's the catch every single one of this analysis is done by multiple generative ai models not just one why because no model is perfect each has its blind spots so we use tools like chat gpt gemini perplexity deep seek and others each model runs the entire analysis independently and then we don't pick one we average them out 
if four tools say something is 70% reliable and one says 30% that tells us something outliers matter but consensus matter more it is not about trusting a machine it is about comparing many minds and reducing the risk of being misled by just one step 4 in case of web search feature we filter out the sources intelligently now this step is critical when ai tools use web search to validate content they don't always know who is behind the source that is where bias creeps in silently imagine a video strongly promoting a specific organization and imagine that during analysis the ai pulls facts from that very same organization website that is not verification that is circular bias so before the ai trust any source it first analyzes the relationship between the source and the content if there is direct influence political alignment or financial interest that source is flagged and removed from consideration we don't let the accused be the judge step 5 and there is another layer where we introduce vpn based checking information changes depending on where you search it from search the same news from three countries and you might see three different routes so we route web searches through multiple vpns across different regions why to reduce geopolitical bias to make sure one country's version of reality does not dominate the analysis and to remind ourselves truth is not always local sometimes it needs a global lens step 6 finally the system generates three key results number 1 the reliability score a simple number that tells us how trustworthy is this content overall it's not a verdict it is a guide a signal that says this seems consistent with known facts or this has several red flags number 2 the red flags these are not just about lies they are about emotional manipulation misuse of technical terms historical distortion selective data and more it might say this video uses scientific terms inaccurately or the source used as known political ties or even thumbnail text he exaggerates actual content red flags are there to wake us up to make us question what we might have believed too quickly number 3 the clean summary a neutral emotionally striped down version of what the content actually says no hype no fear no drama just yes what this content is actually talking about because sometimes when we remove the noise we realize there was less there than we thought why this matters we are not building a censorship engine we are not creating an ai judge we are building a lens for truth we believe people are smart we believe society can think critically but only when it has the right tool to do so the system is one such tool a quiet companion for every viewer every listener every reader a system that does not decide what is true but helps us ask better questions because in a world of deep fakes echo chambers and algorithm driven outrage what we need most is not more content it is more clarity and we believe technology if designed with a purpose can give us that not some day not hypothetically but soon and tangibly as a proof we will present the functionality of key modules let's check it
the solution proposed here and the functionality demonstrated is just a concept vision it may not be perfect it may have its own flaws but i want the content to serve a bigger purpose to spark awareness ignite global conversation and to trigger even better ideas fellow influencers podcasters even some mainstream online news media i want to say this if this episode comes across as personally hurtful i sincerely apologize that is not my intention i am one of you i also want to be clear my voice is not against everyone i know there are many good people with good intentions out there creating content that educate uplift and inspires my words are directed only at those who knowingly create content with hidden agenda or spread misinformation especially when it comes at the cost of shaping young minds my only aim is to encourage a more responsible and reliable narrative particularly for the younger generation who are constantly plugged into social media we all have a duty to ensure their future is informed thoughtful and bright it is nothing personal just a call for accountability and a vision to achieve it through technology we deserve a world where truth is not buried beneath noise fantasy and agenda let's build a clarity that reaches every home every voice every common man thank you